says that everything you think, for this is the will of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you. That's right. So for everything, give thanks, man. Read that one more time, brother. It says that everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you. That's right. And that's the will of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach concerning you. So everything, man, everything you get, whatever you supposed to thank Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. And that's even concerning. I don't even care if it's bad, man. Alright? Because if you if you receiving chastisement, that means that the Lord is working with you. So you take that with cheer. You take that cheer. Like I got to do the bad so if something bad happens to me, I'm going to throw out of your house by sitting outside. Now I know how I gotta get I know I gotta get myself right. I gotta get right back on the right path. The water can show me why I went off it. But if, if, if he's not doing that, then hey man, so I, you're not right. Something in you is not right, man. You know? Let me tell you, ask your house side for everything he gave it to you. I ain't even got a matter of fact, I'm done with y'all. But yeah, man, um, but, but whatever, man, but er everything you think Yahweh Baha Shim Yahweh Shah, man. Because all his ways are righteous, man. Alright? None of his ways are unpure, man. Everything is just about Yahweh Baha Shim Yahweh Shah. All right. It says, prove all things. It's like, y'all, it's like, I'm sorry. Uh, quench not the spirit. Mm. Uh, the word quench is talking about uh, suppress. Mm. To suppress. There you go, right there. Quench not the spirit. Suppress not the spirit. Thank you. Yeah, it's not. Him wanting to go out. You no, know, me wanting to speak. Right. 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 Now you see. Yeah, this brother speak more in this camp than he got I've ever spoke when we was in the other camp, man. You know, when we, we try to build this brother up, to speak the same way. All right? Because I, I, I'm not doing all the speaking. But y'all brothers, I'm kind of, you know what I mean? But that, that, and that's, that's what the brother is about. All right? Even, even in, 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 uh, the example my mother gave me in the world, she's like, if you want to be on somebody's level, but to that level, or you hold yourself to that expectation, you hang on somebody that, that's above you. All right? If you want to be a great speaker, what you want to do? You want to hang around great speakers. If you want to be a great scribe, you want to hang around great scribe. You know? And we got all that right here, man. Through, through the spirit of power, y'all are watching outside. You know? Because you never know. Brother might get sick and can't make it or whatever, and you got you to gotta, uh, be there to uh, 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 taste it. Take, take control, man. You know? And that's the reason why you want to build your brothers up. Not want to do all the talking. You know? So, quit, quit not the spirit, man. So, if you got a brother that want to learn and you're not teaching him, what's that doing? You're quenching the spirit, man. Now, you're being wicked. <laughs> but it say, you are your father the devil. You know? What that nigga said to us out there in Lancaster. He think I know what he was saying. I mean, you are your father Satan! You are your father Satan! <laughs> like that nigga, like, he, yo, he really wanted some attention, man. Acting like a damn woman. Man. Yeah, you asked him, my man got his own cancer out there. Yeah, kind of like, yo. So that was, that was a devil, man. You know, talking about I was waiting for y'all to come. I knew y'all was coming. Like, yeah, so the devil knew he was coming, so he ain't lie about that. You know? Because I didn't know he was coming. You know, I know eventually, I. First of all, I knew he was going to go and teach that lesson where the kind of soldier Indians was at. Then the brother was like, man, he might as well camp. Like, hey, why not? We already here. You know, it's the spirit working all day, man. You know, we condemn the hell out of that place. And the only thing I regret, man, we should have thrown some curses, bro. Now, that would have that made the day complete. And I, I got the curses in my book bag, man. I should have the curses up on that place. You know? But, we, I mean, we already climbed to our father. I've been now with y'all about to the time. That's what, we, that's what we do when we be out in the alleys and bowels, man. We out here crying out to our father, man. Hoping that, well, we know he's going to come and destroy this place, man. You know? But we, 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 we hasten that day, man. You know? But see, you, you can't, you can't, uh, uh, push the spirit on the brother, man. You know? 
And that's what I felt like. I, I'm a discipline. That's what always goes back to these dudes, man. But when I came in that camp, I felt like I, my spirit was more like uh, uh, burning. Like, damn, you know what? I, know, I, I, I remember a certain time when I first came in, and um, this guy had came up, and he had, he had asked a question, said something. And I was like, yo, man, I was like, you know what? This is one of the first things I was ever saying. I was like, yo, man, I told my mom that we living in the time of Noah. And this is down there, and the cowboy looked at me and was like, so that for real, like, 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 I'm not supposed to know that just because I'm just coming in, you know? That's Christian spirit. I looked at him like, damn, what, I said something wrong? Well, I know I ain't say nothing wrong, man. You know? You know, that, that's, that's also oppression of your brother, man. Holding your brother back. You might as well be like Esau, man. You might as well be like uh, these Christian churches and not tell your brother who he is. You know, just 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 be a straight up demon, man. More to them to call evil good and good evil. That's right, man. That's right. You want to go teach more? Yeah. What kind of demons you got on you? That's right. Yeah, like yo, all you do, you could have started your own camp. That's right. Another section of the city or something like that. That's right. Wow. Yeah. So that that that's holding back. But first of all, you can't hold back the spirit of your howlbar sitting outside, man. You can't do it. No matter how hard you try, all right? That's right, man. That Edomite. That's why they. That's why they always call him an Edomite, man. Every even the women walk by tomorrow. You got Edomite teaching over y'all. Oh, brother. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. You, you know, you know, you know. Uh, hold a brother back, man. When it when it comes to teaching his word, man. All right. You teach that brother, because you, you know what, and you don't know, and, and also you don't know who your Howard Boss and Yahweh Shah sent to you, man, and who you trying to oppress, man. And that could be for, for your uplifting, or that could be for, for, for your uh, destruction, all right? Because the Lord will put a man around you and be like, yo, you know what, right, so I'm going to send you to this guy, man, teach him. The same way, guess what? Imagine if uh, if, if uh, 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 Peter didn't teach um, Cornelius. Then what? And Yahweh Shah sent Cornelius to Peter put spot to us specifically. So imagine he would have turned him away because he uh, looked like an Edomite. Alright? And by all you're Roman, I'm not teaching you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that, that would have condemned him, man. You know? That would have condemned him. But guess what? He, he was a man of the Lord. So guess what he did? He taught him, man. It says, despise not, not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Despise not prophesying. Oh, all right. All right. It says, ah, yeah, sorry, sorry. it says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. That's right. Despise not prophesying, man. Despise it not. So if we out here, if the Lord sent another man to you while I'm a teacher, and prophesied, despise that not. And despise not these prophets prophesied. That's what we out here doing. Talking about World War III, the destruction of America. All right? Talking about the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, which is already here. All right? We're prophesying. What the word prophecy mean? To say before it happens, man. All right? So we the Lord's prophets. And when we was out there in Lancaster, and I made that statement. I'm like, yeah, man. I said, we prophets. The, the one guy I believe, he was a Gadite. After camp, after the cameras was off and everything, he was trying to shake my hand and everything. He's like, yeah, you said you're a prophet. He was like, oh, I'm an evangelist. And they don't like prophets around here. <laughs> and I just looked at that like, you know what? You, you right. I know they don't, man. You know, you want to know why? Because they want us to prophesy the seats. Speak smooth things, man. And we wasn't out there speaking those smooth things, man. We was out there telling them crackers, yo, this is how it is. To the point now, this is this, this what kills me about some Edomites, man. Alright? But when you see so-called black men stand up and speak out against you and call you devils and crackers and all that, and tell us that we hate you if you're an Edomite, we hate Edomites, alright? We hate Esau, and we hate you other nations. That's not on the 12 charts, the 12 tables chart. We hate y'all. You got the nerve to come up and ask us 
oh, why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me? Well, why the hell did y'all hate us so much when we was in slavery? Answer that before I answer any of your goddamn questions. You know? Why, why, why I hate that white woman, man? And she wasn't even white. She was definitely an Edomite. Then that bitch was so powerful, she had the nerve to be like, um, what she say? Talk about, I, I demand respect to you. I'm like, what the fuck, yo? Is she, is she fucking serious, man? Only reason why you say that shit, because you was a goddamn Edomite cracker in, in, in Lancaster. Yeah, the, exactly, yeah. So, so you had your daddy right there, you know? <laughs> That she went, yo, she sat out there and took that punishment that we was given. She was taken, I was looking right at her when I was talking. She was sitting there like this. I could see it manifesting like, she was getting madder and madder like, this fucking nigga. Who does this nigga think he is and talking my neighbor like this? You know what I mean? What the do, Hickey? Yo, get it cut. That shit, I could see it. <laughs> she was taking them booze. I went to uh, Ludacris to hold them booze. Throwing them at her, man. You know? And, and yo, and then, so she's the one that, that uh, and matter of fact, I believe he was an Edomite. but he had to be an because he ain't say shit. It was an Edomite dude sitting right there in the crowd, too. He was in, in like one of them benches off on, on to the side of shit. He was just looking at me like, like he wanted to say something, but he like, damn, them dudes are powerful. They fucked me up. You know what I mean? But that either my bitch got up and went and talked to the cops, to that fucking female cop, and said what she said, that's when she came over to us. And that female cop knew that we wasn't wrong, man. And guess what? I knew we was right because the spread of y'all washing our shop put us right there in that spot, man. There was a damn memorial. We could, we could post up at any memorial. We had to be 50 feet away from that building, which we were well further than that. Well far away from that, man. You know? Yeah, gun. That's why. That's why she did that. That's being a devil. Y'all you know saying this. That's why she came. Was like, do y'all have a permit? Do y'all have a permit? I was trying. I, I'm like, yo. That's why I hit it with love. What to teach the Bible? That fucked her head up. Like, man. Do y'all have a permit? That's all she kept asking. And then she, cause she knew she was wrong, so she was trying to make it seem like, um, like you was being, uh, yeah, yeah, she, religious. She was like, she was like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna smack the shit up him. God damn, now you breathe. <laughs> that's how that's what I put my phone in that Matter of fact, why don't you wake up? <laughs> Knock the ass out, man. But that was great. Then she going to tell me, oh, well, if you have a permit. Like, now, yo, you thought you was playing somebody. Talk about if you had a permit, you would know you had to be 50 feet. And then she said it. She was like, yeah, which you are. And y'all allowed to be here. So why the fuck is you over here fucking with us? Yeah. Like we was going by, oh, I'm sorry, miss. Cause she was waiting for us to be like, oh, we're not allowed to be here. And if we didn't know, then she'd have probably tried to uh, use that. Oh no, you know you're not allowed to be here. Oh yeah, y'all gotta back up. No, but we stood up to that bitch, man. You know, cause we met in the Lord, man. That's right, good go. So Oh you asked him. Yes. It says, abstain from all appearance of evil. That's right, abstain from all appearances of evil, man. That's all appearances, man. Don't you not supposed to be wicked, man. Treat your brother wickedly. You know? If a nigga's being wicked, you don't be around that brother. You get away from him, man. Why? Because, like they say, cancer, when you got cancer or something, that cancer, uh, uh, the cancer destroy everything. Oh, yo, you know another reason why they got all these cops out here? They got that uh, Made in America tour. The JC tour, they do it every, every uh, cause it's, cause it's uh, Labor Day weekend. Yo, it's, it's, it's Labor Day weekend, right? And guess what we are doing? Labor. We doing the righteous labor. Why these dumbasses out here partying, man. All right? You have, matter of fact, and they, yo, it's another fight coming up too, man. It's, um... Canelo's the uh uh he's right. Yeah, yeah, Isco right. Oh, Isco right. Yeah. Some some uh he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a But yo, that that's uh it looks like that's um because uh you had to put uh Mayweather um 
McGregor, right? Which is, uh, everybody's saying, um, McGregor could have been, they saying Benjamin. They said he could have been Benjamin, or whatever. What's here, man? Yeah, I don't know. I know his name. Yeah, but look, see, yeah, but see how you got uh, the Jake right there? But if you look at this guy, right, he's in the window, so I believe you see, he got a red beard and red hair. That's Jacob versus Esau. When I first saw it, I said, damn, Jacob versus Esau again? You know, so they, they pushing these bass with man. Because the guy, he looked he look just like a human. He got the red hair. We say he was uh, uh, red all over like a hairy garment. He got the red beard, the red hair. His face is all red and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen this one interview where there's, there's some documentary where, I guess, you know how the little bit of training came from shit? But, uh, yeah. like, the eater might said something to him. As if, like, what are you doing here or whatever, like, you shouldn't be in the neighborhood or whatever. Wow. He kind of just looked at him and he didn't even get mad. He needed to, like, get his ass. <laughs> yo, that, yo, that's how proud for these crackers are, man. Yeah, look at what you doing around here. You're on the wall around here, boy. Yo, yo I can't wait. To be... Yo, do we get these spiritual powers a little willing, man. You know? Well, then, like, he only speaks, like, Spanish and stuff like that. So he's, like, all these fucking, like, <laughs> yeah, good, yo, 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 <laughs> Esau, man, yo, <laughs> yo, Esau is the most, uh, the president, or the, yeah, the most president's motherfucker on the face of the earth, man. You know, they, they hate all nations for real. And they, and they the, the, you want to know why? I would, I guess I would too, if I was small among the heathen. You know? No melanin. Yeah, exactly, no melanin. The, the skin, the skin even hates you eat them like, man. Yo, that's okay. The, 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 don't nothing like Esau, man. You just, you, you just was made to be waste, man. You was made to be a waste. And guess what? You was made to be uh, destroyed things, right? So guess what's going to happen to you? According to Obadiah 1 and 18, man. You're going to be completely destroyed, man. But your spirit going to live on forever, so you're going to come back in other nations. You're not coming back as an Israelite. You might go to Ham. Uh, uh, Japheth, you know, Moab. I hope you go to Moab because they be tired as hell, man. You know? But, yo, yo they, 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 they got a, a racist joke for every nation, man. So, then, then, yo, now, and then when you talk to an Edomite, that's the, that's the first thing you say. Like, even when I know, like, when I, when I still was in the world or whatever, and I ain't know, um, really too much about, you know, like the Bible as far as the way it's supposed to be broken down, right? And I, I used to hate talking to Esau, man. I used to be like, yo, are you, you trying to have a normal conversation with him? And they always want to throw a race to him. <laughs> and I look at this nigga like, man, I should knock his fucking head off, man. They're like, yo, which is the black guy instead of the white guy? <laughs> yeah, like, why, the, uh, why the black people be picking up Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? With them corny ass dry jokes, man. <laughs> Make you want to smack the shit out of these songs, man. Yeah, like, yeah, like. Sovereign security, man. You're going to need sovereign security when it's when it's, when it's when all hell breaks. Yeah, but I guess we can't just stand here. Yeah, cut. Like, this nigga just out here drinking. <laughs> this is coconut. Yeah, let me show the brothers, man. They be like, yo, Mike Oliver's out there drinking on camera. That's coconut water, man. <laughs> That's coconut water. All right? Coconut. Yeah, good. Hey, like, you see Mike all out there? He had, a, no, he had a Heineken or something. <laughs> you know? He's wicked. He was drinking that kid. It wasn't why he just came up. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's a, that's why he was talking about the plain table. You see that can he had in his hand? He was drunk. <laughs> they were loving this one. Yeah, he's, <laughs> that's why that's why he wasn't allowed to drink in the council. You know? <laughs> Come on, man. Dude's not being mine, man. Oh, all right. Matter of fact, yeah, bring that out. Know. So, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness that's right. before the face of such as have afflicted him made no account of his labor. That's right, man. So that's what we did when we went out to Lancaster. That's what we do when we come out every week, weekend and week out. We stand boldly in the face of our in the face of our enemies. 
That was good. That's it on that. Right? After that, grab our... Oh yeah, that's good. All right, because they hold grab our song. Our song. Yeah. It's five verse one. But yeah, so they, they hold no account of our labor. So all the all the things that we did to build this country up, all right, they 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 look at it like we ain't do nothing. All them niggas are just lazy, man. They hate the work, you know. But we built the whole goddamn country. And, and yo, and now when I look at things, man, I, I be seeing things even more and more spiritual. The more and more you get deep into this truth, and the further we get this truth, you start to look at things a lot differently. So when I be like sitting on the waiting for the bus and just looking around like God damn, like I really fucked up. And that's that's a hurtful feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? We hate these niggas because like like why won't you wake up? But it, it like it's it's um all according to your Howard Bashiel side. Like you think that your Howard side went to Jerusalem with a smile on his face, man, knowing the condition of his people, man. He went in there in tears, man. And that's how we be for our people, but yo, you gotta Hey man, they, they gotta get corrected, you know. But um, like yo, I'm looking at our people, like yo man, fuck pretty out smoking cigarettes, smoking weed. Then I, I'm looking at like you, you uh, I seen a brother today. He had some dick ass Tims, and he worked for Applebee's. And I'm like yo, like he look miserable going to work. I'm looking at our people slaving at, at work and all that, and these crackers just sitting back with a smile on their face, that big dumbass. But we come out here, man, and we speak boldly against that, and then our people look down on us, but we speaking up for you, man. They cut. They cool it, man. We speaking up for you, and you want to still cool for the so-called white man. Why? Because you love the way he teaches you. And that's a hurtful feeling to us, man. Um, this is Luke 8 and 9. And the disciples asked him, saying, What might this be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh. Right. But to the others in parables, that seeing they may not see, they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. That's right. So they see these things uh, and don't know why they see it. They don't know why they happen. They, they uh, hear these things and they, they don't understand it, man. You know? Like, like we come out here and we talk about the so-called white man they their enemy. They like, what? Like, niggas, you crazy? I, my, my neighbor's white. You know? He, he just let me borrow some off on some Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, cut, yeah, you know? My, my, my mom's white. My dad's <laughs> black. What do you mean that's my enemy? No jackass, it's called Jacob and Esau. You are who your father is, you know? <laughs> My girlfriend's white. She doesn't hate me. You fucking dumbass. I was, uh, I think I was on Instagram or something like that. This was like, uh, a couple months ago. Then, uh, it, it had this, this, it had this, uh, meme up. It, this, this chick, she, uh, she was an Edomite. And she had a uh, she had a Jake for a kid, wow. and she kept cutting his hair off. She said she didn't like his hair because it was too nappy. See, yeah, too. But she but she don't hate her son. She hate that nigga, man. A Edomite mother. Man. She only had like that's just like a uh, Hagar, right? She had Abraham. She had Abraham's seed, right? But nah, that's that's a, that's a horrible thing. That don't make it an like so I'll take that back. I'll retract that statement. And that's just like, you know, me, me and one of these brothers, we go have sex with a so-called white woman. And she have our kid that baby is an Israelite. Their hair is going to grow like ours and shit. And, and, and like I used to deal with like my, my oldest son's uh, mother. She's a she's Sicilian, so she's a Jake. But she grew up thinking that she's an Edomite, man. And she's like, oh, you little monkey. And I used to want to punch this fucking bitch's head off, man. <laughs> and this before I knew anything. So I'm like, this fucking crazy. Like, what? <laughs> Call me a monkey bitch. I don't care how good you look. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was ready to beat this bitch ass, man. Call me a monkey, man. They ain't start talking to my son like that, man. No? It had this, it was another, uh, it was another meme. It had a monkey. 
and uh, they had Jake Lips and Edomite Lips. The Edomite oh. Lips was uh, thin. Yeah, I was about to Jake say that. Lips was thick. Yeah, I was about to say that's a screw. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the ape hair is thin. Cut. And, it's like, it's, like it's thin like an Edomite. And Jake hair thick. Matter of fact, you said that. Yeah, that you said that. I'm pitching that. See what he said because I seen the Edomite's face today. Look just like that white woman. Even my one skin had the hair around it. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Lips all wrinkly and shit like the monkey lips. Oh, the they got the nerve to call us monkeys, man. When y'all features off, off, fit, 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 fit the more, man. Uh, not, no. <laughs> you know, only one want to walk in front of a fucking camera. Sorry, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Fucking dumb bitch. Yo, she's not a dumb bitch. She's a dumb bitch. How and all you crack is just dumb. Now, no, 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 no. Fuck you're you, you dumb, dumb bitch. You're Bye, dumb. you dumb bitch. No, no, no. You're dumb a fucking bitch. dumb You dumb bitch. Hates all crackers, man. You see how her boyfriend's ran off. Fucking weirdos, man. She the only dumb ass bitch to walk in front of me. Now, if this was the kingdom, no, you think that bitch would say anything? Don't put your head. That bitch here would have been over there on that fucking pole somewhere. <laughs> Like, what's the uh, Mortal Kombat here? Finish her. <laughs> Knock her fucking head off, man. Bring your back camera, go get her head. Yeah, and then the, it's always the woman, because look, <laughs> that her <laughs> man went up the yo, street. You, like, yo, you fucking tight, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, oh shit. Don't, don't talk to them niggers. You know? He said, you wanna fight, you be <laughs> over your own. <laughs> they do they, they look rough. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. You see that one guy's beard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of these mics, man. Come on, how are we supposed to see the camera, bitch? You saw it. <laughs> but you going to try to testify her not seeing it? <laughs> the two uh, dudes seen it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're, you're a cunt. She want to say it, nigga. And she probably thought I was going to say that. <laughs> she thought I was going to say that. You're ugly. Uh-huh. I got black friends. <laughs> you know? Fuck out of here. Go ahead, bro. Uh, so Psalm 23 and 1 says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's right. The Lord is our shepherd, man. So we so then though the Lord is our shepherd, I mean we shouldn't want for anything. Go ahead, right? It says he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Right. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's right. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness right. for his name's right. sake. For his name's sake, man. Go ahead. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley. Of the shadow of death. That's what I wanted. He said, though, they thought I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. Alright? Let's talk about America. Alright? Because America is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Anything in America can, can kill you. Alright, you got the TMOs, man. You know? They 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 giving you uh, all different type of vaccines. Like they taking your blood plasma. You know, they giving you all different types of diseases, man. They give you guns and all that, drugs and all that. So that's the valley of the shadow of death, because everything is like shadow and death, man. Go ahead, huh? It says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That's right. So I, thy rod and thy staff, they come from me. Thy rod and thy staff is this book, man. The law stands to the commandments. That, that's, that's what comforts us when we come out here on the highways and byways and speak, man. All right? We know that, that we got the law stands to the commandments. And the, and, and the words, because the, cause the word is the comforter, man. Not that God comfort. That's why the Lord uh, 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 did, 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 did away with his organization, man. All right? The Lord did away with his organization. Okay? So that so 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 that's how we know that these words are our rod and our staff, and they comfort us, man. Because they, they, they are rod because when we're wrong, they, 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 we get corrected, man. All right? When we get down, they comfort us, man. All right, and they, they and they and they guide us too, man. All right, so this, this book is everything to us, man. It ain't it ain't for me to for uh you other nations, man. This book was only written for the twelve tribes of Israel, man. So if you're not a, a, of the twelve tribes of Israel, this book is not for you. Even though Edomites look at Ishmael, Ishmaelites, this book is not for you. The Bible is not for you. What we are doing is not for you. But you can look like another nation. All right, then be of Israel, man. All right, because it's all according to your seed. This thing is all uh, spiritual. It's all spirituality. All about being in the spirit. 
Oh yeah, how a boss in y'all shot. Go ahead, huh? Says, thou preparest the table for me in the presence of my enemies. That's right. So that's what this table is right here. They prepare the table so we out here feeding and eating. Alright? And the presence of our enemies because we, we out here amongst all these other nations, especially the so-called white man, which is our enemy. Okay? And all these other nations is our enemy. They're not our friends, man. No white thing when I call that uh, Edomite a bitch. You know? I don't care about that so-called white woman, man. And then they trying to disrupt the truth. You know? So that's, that, that's preparing the table before us in the presence of our enemy. Why? Because the Lord is feeding us, man. All right? So we can feed our, uh, feed, feed our people, the whole for elect, man. And you two-thirds, you're not going to get it. So we, we just out here to let you know that you're an Israelite. You know, so you could, so whether you hear it, whether you forbear, man. It says, I'll prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's it, man. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the day of our life, man. And we're dwelling in the house of the Lord, Yahweh. By sin down south of heaven. Alright? Alright? So yeah, so so that, that's a that's a perfect way to end it, man. So death to the two-thirds and death to you other nations, man. Alright? Call me outside of the uh, uh hopeful elect, man. Alright? And to with that, to the next time, shalom. Shalom.